All right. Pokemon. Unova. You know, you know, bro. Watch uh, senior communications. No. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Do our thing. Okay, I think so it's a little last bit time too we close. Played, last time we played, it was autumn. What what season is it now? Do Let's we find summer? out. How long have we been in this Pokemon Center? Winter. Oh, it's just winter. Oh, so it's but not go too back long. in and out again. Will it change? Time keeps on slipping, 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 and to well, okay, yeah. Maybe so it's, it's winter. winter next year. All right. So last time I arrived in this city, and oh, oh right. Jesus. So you went through like weird cult forest. Uh, you met a, the bug gym leader. You crossed a fancy bridge, and now you're in the big city. You're in you New York. Life in the big wicked city. Gotta remember to save often. Oh, that's right. We were having, like, crashing issues, weren't we? Among other things. I don't think we found... We didn't find a solution to that. Our solution is just... Is just pray to Arceus every once in a while. And hope that things don't... I should have looked if there were, like, newer versions of Bell and DS or anything. There's, like, uh... There's RetroArc, but... We use this because it's better at running multiple instances. Yeah, well, that won't be a problem next uh, next Pokemon Gen we do because right. uh, it'll be it'll this be is, just one of us. This is okay, the so last got, one that supports randomization. We got my HM Fixer. I got in, I got Goku. What's Bugsy? Buggy? What? Let's see again. He is. He's a clown. Oh yeah, oh, that's he doesn't right. have the it's big Ember. nose yet. He will one day. So you're actually ahead of me right now. I hit a brick wall like twice, trying to uh, get past the randomized parts. Somehow I am ahead of you. But it, oh, we're, have... we're t two gym battles in. It kind of doesn't feel that way, does it? Um, no. You're. We're, we're, I still feel like we're really far in the beginning. So you, Chris, do, do you have the town map? If you look at like the pause menu. Yeah. So you just crossed from into the mainland. The first two gyms yeah. are on, like, Tutorial Peninsula over there. Florida. Yeah. Relic uh, Castle. So the region is modeled after New York. Those are, like, the two rivers that run through New York, is the okay, idea. Okay, cool. What part of New York has the fucking uh, desert with the pyramids? Uh, that's, uh, not a lot of people go there. That's the Bronx. Uh, oh, there's actually people walking in perfect single-file line. Even having this many NPCs, was... it's way too few for actual for an actual city. I don't know. This this feels accurate to Seattle post-COVID. I Mar say Mario I say Odyssey got it right. Yeah. Hello, where am I? It's difficult it's to diff watch TV from here. It's not your concern, though. It's just my problem. Yeah, is this a hotel or what is this place? What really what is wish this? I wish they turn that TV so I could watch it while I was working. Hey, Darian. Not that I'm not bothered or anything. I will massage your. Po sure. Oh, it's, it's this is the massage place. Yeah. What what do they do? What does the massaging do? It raises happiness. Same as previous games. Okay, cool. How much does it cost? I think it's free, just but once a day. Man, okay. Imagine you could go to a free massage once a day. That would that'd be helpful. I think in the last game she would find random items on your Pokemon. What? They just stuck to its fur. Yeah. Oh, like, you look around here. Pokemon are dirty little shits. They pick up some Konichi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, it's we're in San Francisco. <laughs> no, this no. This is uh, new. Oh god, this is Neo York. Oh god, what would be a uh, New York? New York. There's no New Yorko. 
New Yoko. It's New, New Yokio. Which gives you great tips for talking in Japanese. Today's What's phrase it? is this. What was that about? Uh, Evangelion was Neo Tokyo, right? Yeah, uh, Tokyo 3, actually. It went... Alright. Wow, the, we've some, we've come so far from Jelly Donuts. Look, they're teaching Japanese in the, in the games now. What was the Japanese version of this? They teach you how to speak English? Maybe. That seems plausible. Alright, so we're going up to floor 11 in this office building. Once again, I have very little memory. I, I know I just beat the gym. If I was, like, getting rid of certain party members or anything. I'll do a quick checkup again. Okay, the office. <clears throat> except, uh... Da, 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 da. Except with Pokemon. What would Michael Scott mean? Uh... What would be his I, I signature don't Pokemon? What, what, what is his thing? Every, like, promotional material I've seen for The Office just makes it look like it's all cringe comedy and something I wouldn't enjoy at all. Okay. Um, I've, I've seen it. it. It happens less often than you think, but there is still moments to cringe at. There's a lot of, like, heartwarming and genuinely funny jokes, though, as opposed to just cringe, cringe comedy. Apparently in the British office, the whole joke was that the main guy was just, like, an asshole. Um, Michael Scott, who's, I guess, that version, is, uh, is more bumbling than malicious. He genuinely means well, and I think that's to his detriment. Because yeah. he doesn't really act like a boss, he acts like trying to be people's friends. I can't... The Office, but it's Team Rocket. Giovanni <laughs> is Michael Scott. <laughs> I got rest, by the way, from this uh, side building. He still acts like Giovanni, but no one ever gets fired. He just kind of puts up with all of his bumbling employees because he, he he loves them at heart. It's Team Rocket, except they just they are in an office building. That's where they... So it's... Who is it? It's uh, it's Giovanni. Jesse and James. And then uh, the, the, the more competent people, who I guess would be their... I uh, forget the guy's name. Butch and Cassidy? No, no, no. I know them. I'm just saying, I don't know who uh, who the... Uh... What if it's just all the team the, the team bosses? You got the pirate oh. guy and the cult guy. Wait, we had Cyrus. What is going on in this building? Because he's alone, it looks like I was reading a book to him. Okay, yeah, tell me, what is this? Keep reading. Mate, is that all I have to do? I have to look lonely oh. in a library? Oh, is this the, the generation this Pokemon debuts at? Just this please, is the I, generation with oh, shape-shifting fox. Oh, I want it. I don't remember how early you can get it. What, he does the speak. Is it... it is it a post-game thing? I, do, I don't know. Floor 22, what's up here? Probably something important. This looks just like the other fucking office building that was across the street from here. Well, that's true to life. Offices often look very similar. Leftovers, did somebody give me... Wait, what? It... Is this the staff room? I think you found the Game Freak room that's in every game. Are you, uh... Okay, so, uh... So, back to, uh... So, my... So... I just pictured Giovanni cut back, cutting back to his, like, I just want to steal Pokemon because I think we would be able to sell them and give them to good homes? Or would he be like, we're gonna make a lot of money, I... Why does Team Rocket steal Pokemon? Just, just because. What, what is Team Rocket's goals? Uh, to, to profit off of stealing Pokemon in some way or another. Oh, the Pokemon... The Pokemon... I would call it slave trade, because... It's like an animal slave trade, I guess. Sure. So I, th I'm confused because it sounds like it's an event-only Pokemon in black and white. 
It doesn't list any other way to obtain it, so I'm not sure if, like, Zerua is obtainable. Uh-oh, I accidentally fought someone. Loafer... Dancer. I'm sorry, I know my screen is very boring. I'm just trying to remember what I'm doing with the Pokémon that I have. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be very effective. Okay, so I have an, probably have an Absol oh. just because I like Absol. It's Dark Ghost as well. Uh, this is my starter. He's got a pretty good ice move. Karate Kadabra and his low sweep. Karate Dabra. Just firefight Kadabra. Ghost Dratini. I might get rid of the Dratini. Well, it's... It's a, it's a special attacker with physical moves is the problem. I wonder how if the stats might change drastically when it evolves. Maybe it'll become a physical attacker. That'd be cool. Why am I grinding this guy up? I gotta... Oh, chip away. What does that do? Uh, I think it just... It's an attack move, deals 70 damage, and it's just not affected by anything. Like, it always just deals 70 power damage. Oh, so... So type advantages... Doesn't care about type advantages, doesn't care about stat changes, 70 damage. Get hit through Wonder Guard. Very situational. Well, it... It's not, like, Dragon Rage. It's not 70 points. It's a 70 damage attack move that doesn't care about any other battle effects. Which is pretty strong for... Like, 70 at this point of the game is good. The target's stat d changes don't affect... Oh! I, I won't be able to stab with it. Um, what do I got? Rock throw type uh, change. Wake up slap. Why do I have? Why do I have wake up slap? Sixty versus. It's stronger than low kick. Oh yeah. I either, either get rid of low kick, which is based on weight or focus energy. I'm gonna keep focus energy because if I'm gonna. So I guess it, it, the type is still affected by it. It's just stat changes it doesn't care about. That's fine. Normal... Stab is the main reason to use normal, but... A good attacking move isn't bad. So if he's a dancer, he's probably gonna have... I'm gonna guess that the next one is... Alright. Oh yeah, you're still all the way back there, shit. Yeah. So I have the forest to go through. I have to go through. I'll take the straight route. You take the winding, annoying route. You never know. All right, next uh, one. Where are you? So between this stream and the previous one, I don't remember if Gen 8 had been announced, but we've got more information about it. Oh, yeah, we Scarlet got... Scarlet and Violet. Oh, good. It is... There was the, uh... Looper. We got... We got starters. Which, you've seen those, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Weed, Weed Cat, Cat is... Captain Duck. And what was the... It was the weird little fire baby Yoshi thing. Yeah. The, the, the oink. We got the pig, Lechonk. Yeah. He became a meme. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, well, him and Weed Cat. Oh, cool, I got eliminated. So... LeChonk was the first Gen 8 Pokemon I, I kind of liked looking at. I don't usually like starters, weirdly enough. I wonder if Weed Cat will become a Grass Poison type. Yeah. And then actually, like, it's got terpenes and shit. It's got buds. There was, like, some aspect of it, like a Pokedex entry or something that we found out about that does mention other, like, weed-related things. I'm sure it's not actually going to be a marijuana cat, but... A cool flash. Everybody's just giving me a, TMs. A guy in the alley just taught you how to flash. This guy's a bad influence. <laughs> um, what else was I gonna say? Uh, oh, the uh, the uh, regional variant of Wooper, which is also gotten popular. 
ground it's like poison? Wolfert except brown oh uh, yeah ground poison and uh, apparently he's got a film that's like the ground that's, that's incredibly toxic which we had ground poison before it was uh nito king well, it's it? kind of yeah. i think that's like the only one though it's not very common I, I guess wanna... it's nice that they're now doing, uh, what was the first, so the first regional forms were in Gen 7, and those were all Gen 1 regional forms. We got a couple, they're branching out, they're doing different gens with regional forms now. Yeah. Hi. Bye-bye. They Ooh. made a, they put out a video today, the Pokemon channel, of, like, the competitive aspects of Gen 8. Which, oh, yeah. I guess the gimmick for this gen is some kind of crystallization thing that yeah, changes you your wear type. A, yeah, type, like, auto-type change, which I don't think it's the, the uh, game changer that Game Freak thinks it is. I, it, I think the it people... Might it might We'll have to see how it's implemented. It could still very easily break competitive. Oh, God. I mean, I think people are thinking that Dynamax did... At least that was and the then that first function. move they showed is also, like, depending on how it's handled, that could be extremely broken and possibly banned and competitive. The combination of uh, substitute and teleport. Yes, I want to go up. I need to check you. If you don't have anything suspicious, you can go. I'm thinking about the uh, the items, like the loaded dice. That seems oh, yeah. like that would be broken. I mean, it's how many people use multi-hit moves, though? And even then, uh, it's an RNG effect. It, it beat makes down. Well, them... okay, no, beat, beat down is it automatically goes for six if you got six uh, party members. It makes so... multi-hits more likely to hit, like, an increased number of times. Oh, what was it? If it works? Yeah. What? Oh, I just get crashed this guy's party. Even if it, like, guaranteed, like, all five hits. Like, <laughs> how many good just... multi-hits are there? Ich habe ihn dann in der Auto Auto so gleich! Damit! Ich ist die Nasch start ach! Ganz um golden Nasch das ist close to night. Ich sei dein Ich grasst du durch mein Führer? Wait, he said Führer. Oh no! What's this guy's deal? Hello, have you tried to pass the low? Don't mind the phone. screaming German next to me. Go get some ice cream. <laughs> Ger there's German, German Pokemon are the greatest Pokemon in the We're world. Gonna... Right, we won't know yet until we get to that region. That's right. You we haven't had a... Germany yet. Okay, there is going to be a, a German variant, like a, a regional variant of Octillery, and it is going to be a goddamn tank. Fine, we'll finally steel, get it. Steel water, like, Octillery. Did you, you see the dress that the supermodel Alessa was wearing? Whatever, Alessa wears this beautiful, stunning ensemble. Okay. Is this you? It's, it's Carmen You San found Diego. her! My boyfriend isn't good at getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's so slow getting out of bed that I asked his Pokemon to use Wake Up Slap on him. That's mean. That's a... Oh, your Pokemon are so charming. I want cute Pokemon too, so I can use this attract. Cool. I'm just getting all sorts of, like, TMs. I, I hate to break your worldview, lady, but uh, pretty much anything can learn attract. Pokemon have very low standards. Rubbish. Trubbish can use attract. Child, side, you better do. Oh, we're gonna visit your region in the uh, in 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 the future. In imbarazzo. In oh, this is Italian. Never mind. It's Parla pure con ci fai. Voi, voi. The, the fratello. Okay, now here we go. This is the right one. Es la primera vez que vez que vengo aquí. Pero Pero este es... precioso paisaje. paisaje? Hace que me, me siente como en casa. The, the amigo. I, I tried. Yeah. It's hard to get up in the morning after a fun day like today. Yeah. I use, I've asked my Pokemon to use Sing instead of setting an alarm clock, but I cannot get up at all. I don't know why. Idiot. 
Check out my moves. You're a wait, you're a dancer. Just standing in the corner, dancing. Oh my god. It's fucking party. Like, like just some people randomly shout at me and guys shout at me in German was. You know, even if there wasn't like a murderous dictator from Germany in the in the history, if somebody shouting German at you would still be threatening. Yeah. It's that language that's that is that kind of like. It sounds so, so, fine when spoken normally, but when you shout oh, it, yeah. it is definitely like more aggressive sounding than other shouted languages. Oh yeah, what what do you think is the most aggressive sounding language when shouted? Uh you saw it, 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 like we can't you do English because we're biased for English. Fuck you, you motherfucking bitch! I fucking hate Even that, like the word fuck is derived from German. Yeah, it means frickin', which means to strike. <laughs> Versatile word. I am the feeling reader. I've heard a lot of people take feeling checks using the C gear. Okay, okay whatever whatever you say. I am the official name. Oh, name changer. There's a lot of stuff just kind of buried in random buildings in this city. Yeah. What was the Gen 4 had Jubilife, but this is the first, like, really massive Pokemon city. You can't change the name of a Pokemon you got from someone. Because the name contains wishes of the person who named it. That's stupid. Let me change it anyway. <laughs> I, tr I got this Pikachu from a strange man upstairs. That's the other building, but yeah. By taking a feeling check, you can get a sweetheart. That's okay. I don't even know what these things are. <laughs> I don't expect you to know. I just, just you're not deep into competitive Pokemon. I'm, I'm amazingly enough, I'm more into it because I watch Logan. I mean, I know in enough. The showdown matches. I secretly invented a special machine. Is it the fossil machine? Only people who know the secret password can use it. Oh. I have no idea what this guy is. Uh... What's the password? Passcode in Castellia City? Yeah, yeah, what, what, what is it? I wanna, I wanna unlock that shit. The man gives you an option on the title screen called the Relocator. Which is the way to import event Pokemon from previous versions. Oh! Okay, what are some interesting po like uh, passwords? Uh, well, I can give you the password. I don't know if it'll do anything. Uh, everyone okay, happy. <laughs> That's the password? Oh, whoops. Uh... Happy. And then you said, eh, okay, so people. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Everyone happy. What's the password? Everyone happy. There's more. Simple what? connection. <laughs> what is this spy shit? Simple. I think it's an ability? A Pokemon ability? Okay, that makes sense. Oh. And then you said connection? Yes. Term. Connection or collection? Uh, connection. Okay. Uh, people. No, not there. Voice. Not there. Trainer. Lifestyle? Lifestyle. No. No. 
Greetings. No. C connection. <laughs> I had assumed you had looked there first. Silly me. <laughs> like, nah, it's too easy. This is the password that will enable you to use the relocator I invented. It's a superb machine that will swiftly fetch a special Pokemon or item by connecting... Oh, it's useless! I think. I don't know. You could, like, try resetting. Like, save, reset, and what try the... the main menu. What the... Is this a clown? That is a clown. It... I'm a Poketch clown! My name is Mr. Locke. I'm a magical clown who can open anything. Your name is Jay Cool. I'll see you again. O okay. Sir. I'm guessing he's the guy who can open soft locks. Why don't you try the, uh, the thing? If you. If it does work then the things that you get from that would allow you to get Zerua. Alright. Well, I'm going to save first, and I'm going to do a, a manual reset. Hello, Demowick. Oh, you're fighting Carmen San Diego. Yeah. Swimmer? Oh, yeah, you're... No, that, you're on... You're on fucking... I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Alright. Relocator. Relocator. Oh. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess... No, I guess we can't do anything with this. I want, Maybe no. it's a heart gold soul silver thing. Yeah, probably, because it's the uh, same... You can get some kind of event like Celebi or the Legendary Dogs with it. Yeah, I don't think I need those. I don't know why they're required to get Zerua, though. I don't think that... Still winter. Alright, that's another building down. You need a fucking, like, secret code in order to access a feature that I don't think anybody can really... Oh, it's a... What's up with your Pokemon, buddy? What kind of abilities do your Pokemon have? All of them. You think it's a good idea for to, pro to provide a service to race Pokemon for trainers? There's a Pokemon daycare! I am a Pokemon... Fan addict. I am famous in Castrelia too. You have a Pokedex. How many? You found 26. Quite a Pokedex. Anyway, here's an evil light. Get out of my face now, sir. That increases the defense stats of a Pokemon that can still evolve. It's also the, the single reason that Blissey kind of just stopped being relevant. Because you can put that on, on Chansey and it's just better Blissey. <laughs> Does Blissey learn different moves? No. What we need is a uh, is a uh, an alternate uh, form uh, of a uh, of a Chansey, and then yeah. it evolves into Cursey. Yeah. That's not entirely true. There's some reason to use Blissey still, but it's uh, gave it gave a lot of reason not to evolve Chansey. When I gaze down at the city from a tall building, I tremble, because uh, I'm scared of heights. Yeah, me too, buddy. <clears throat> is there anything relevant up here? Oh my, the badge is... Okay, yeah, tell me. Trio badge, basic badge, insect badge, bolt badge, quake badge, jet freeze badge, legend badge. Oh, it's just, hey, you can... Okay. So, there's... Just nothing in this building. There's a lot of buildings in this city. Yeah, no shit. I'm exploring because sometimes, because maybe I'll stumble upon a Pokemon murder mystery like in Sword Shield. But comfort is somewhere in this room. Hey, wait. Pokemon trainers are for show combinations. 
with Pokemon even during road construction. Okay. I have not been paying four. enough attention. Th this bird is wrecking me. Oh, hey, this, this road seems abandoned. Tell me about what's with this street. Why is it why is it so uh empty? That no. wasn't very enlightening. This is <laughs> Speaking this is of actually, empty. This is actually creepy. Did they fit did they not finish programming this street? Eh, no one's gonna visit every building in the city. Oh my god. Too bad what it's Sunday, or that building would have been full of people. I feel like Vegas is about to crash into this building any second. Designated for destruction anyway. It's Seriously. weird that they bother to do that with some of the, like, buildings in the show, because there's a lot of them that they don't bother to do that for. It's... It, it's just done as a gag, you, you know? It's... Oh, hey, a deli bird. It's, it's gonna be useless even with the, like, it's... What is up with this building? This is so fucking strange. And it won't evolve into something useful, because I turned off the, uh, like, random evolutions. Yeah. Well, you know what, that's good. So there's this empty-ass building over there, and it's... Hey, J. Cool, I just challenged gym leader Berg. He made me work for that gym badge. Bug type Pokemon. Oh, just fire it. Just I'm going to keep winning against all the Unova region's gym leaders. Then I'll head for the Pokemon League, which you've never heard of. I'm the tutorial. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That'll make me feel truly alive. Okay. What? Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma and Pinwheel. You're Jay Cool. Come to challenge the gym. How could you forget? You wait a bit. I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. Come with me. I'm going to the dock at. Pro oh, we got to do something before the gym. Yeah, you said this game was the most JRPG. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask if you've been saving. Yeah, I I'm keeping up on that. I find I found that I remember this stuff easier now that I've uh, I've had stopped smoking weed for a long period of time. Yeah. It, it still slips my mind, but... Alright. This... Passerby Analytics HQ. People pass by as they walk along. That's your oh, motto? Not... Alright. Tell me about this place. What are people's favorite things? What is popular right now? Have you ever wondered about these things? No, I'm a hipster. Welcome to Passerby Analytics HQ. It's that Find fucking the... island from Gen 3, con con condensed to one room. You have good eyes, eyes full of curiosity. I will appoint you as a statistician. I was I'm, <laughs> okay. An actuary. You'll receive survey requests from me. Then, with the survey radar, you'll choose the survey you want to conduct. If you pass by a lot of people, the radar will collect the information. Is it talking about, like, in real life? Like, walking around with your DS system? I hope not. Which version is more popular? Alright, now, how does this work? Yeah, uh, sorry, what, what's a... I'm quizzing our quizzers. Okay, this questionnaire. Details about people. What is your hobby? Oh, fuck! I, I just hit A without... Can I go back, ma'am? Oh, fuck. What is your job? 
Uh, I'm a professional job hopper. Argus. Battle. What's your favorite kind of Pokemon? Uh, strange. What's your favorite Pokemon type? Hmm. The internet is watching you and judging you, Jack. Well, what is my favorite Pokemon? Uh, Storlax, but that's a normal type. Uh. Slowpoke is a water psychic type. That's slow, bro. There's both of them. Uh. Shit. Ghosts. Ideals and values. Where do people prefer to live? Like, me, uh, us personally, or just people <laughs> in general? I think the city. What do you wish you had more of? Well, that's obvious. Uh... Alright, I've closed my eyes and I'm just gonna choose one at random. Alright. I'm just asking questionnaire. Likeable people. I mean, you could say no Which, to any of them. Which partner would you choose? Smart. We value more in a substance. What type of person do you want? Rich to <laughs> Basic, shallow, and shallow. Like a kind of person. All right, preferences. What is your favorite season? I'm sorry, I just started paying attention. This shelter is road rolling me. <laughs> you're, as Tim Sixty would say, you're losing to a shelter. Uh, what is my favorite season? It's a toss-up between summer and winter. Summer. What's your favorite food? Um. They don't have savory. Who that, would choose that's... bitter? I don't know. I, some people like it. What is your favorite color? Are you fucking kidding me? You don't have purple on here? Rigged. Rigged. Dumb question. Black. Alright. Entertainment. What is your favorite music? What's your favorite kind of TV program? Oh, you know. Next up. What's your favorite kind of movie? Art House? See, this, 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 this is kind of weird because, uh, are, because, like, weird movies aren't here. Yeah. The fantasy suck. I got a blast toys. School life. I don't go to school anymore! What's your favorite time in school? Lunch. Lunch. That was my favorite what's your, time. What's your favorite school subject? Where's lunch? Science. What is your weakest subject? Math. The four, the four subjects in school, that's it. Sports and pastimes. Where would you like to go for fun? Uh, the beach. Sure. What do you do on holidays? Went back when I was a kid. Video games. Next up, what is your favorite sport? Fucking wrestling is not here. That counts. Yeah, martial arts. All right, final one. 
What do you think the most fun part of Pokemon is? Pokemon. I play Pokemon <laughs> games for the story. I play Pokemon games for the for just the idea of just owning pets and shit. I guess that would be the, what Pokemon applies to. Yeah. What would you want to become? Team Plasma! I want to become Team Plasma! It has the same, that answer has the same energy of that one uh, character in that one Gundam show going, I will become a Gundam! Yeah. <laughs> that was... Okay, I don't know the context for this because I don't want to see the show, although this line sold it to me. It was this uh, Gundam show. I forget what it, I forget which one it was, but it had this uh, main character who was like who was like wanting to become Gundam. It just like I guess because he wants to be like so good at being, being operating a Gundam. It was the uh, Gundam show after Seed, which was I guess done by the same people. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna shut up about things. What would you want to become? If he, uh, if he goes to visit Dr. Andonuts, then he can become Gundam Man. <laughs> Gundam designed by Dr. Andonuts from Earthbound. <laughs> and the he loved Saturn. Gundam so much that he himself became a Gundam. I, I, I Earthbound, the thing is, is that is that Earthbound is a very influential game series. I will say that. Um, and then it, it influenced a lot of people. The most recent, it, like, you know, you had Undertale, and then you have uh, Omori, which is the latest one, which part of the reason why I was in a bad mood is because I was looking up footage of Omori, and what I, little I've learned of it really just, like, made me depressed. Yeah. Which means I, I it's a game, it's, it's my favorite game I will never play. Yeah. Um, but I feel like like they they're leaning more towards like the dark underbelly aspects of what Earthbound represented, whereas Earthbound for the most part was was pretty chill and cheery with only slight darkness, and then they only really leaned heavily into it for the final act of this of the uh, game. I'd agree with that. Yeah. So it's like I feel like I feel like a lot of the newer games are better off because of it, like, artistically, but it's just kind of, like, sometimes I just want to play a game that's, like, cheery, but with, uh, but with, like, you know, RPG battles, you know? Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is maybe I should, maybe I should play, uh, that, uh, one game where you play as the vice president and you can recruit random people to do the fighting for you. That's basically what Pokemon is. It's a, it's a cheerful, not-too-intense just RPG series. Yeah, people make it. Who is it's, your favorite it's not as simulator? delightfully weird as Earthbound, granted, but... I don't know any of these people. Wait. Iris. You know Iris. Oh, I... oh fuck yeah, she's my favorite. She's intense as fuck. Is she in this, uh, in this game? She is. There are two Dragon Gym leaders, and depending on your version, you get Iris or the other one. Of course I would get Iris. I, th well, I, I think you have Iris. I'm not positive. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this because we're not going to stream it, but uh, Iris graduates to the champion in Black and White 2. Okay. Why are we not streaming that? Is it just the same game? It's, yeah, it's too similar. I want to get to the later generations, and we have... Yeah. Pokemon games get long, and we're kind of tight for stream time. Yeah. Uh, alright, I did all of the things. I got an item. Now... Do you have an attitude of gratitude? I dropped a Pokeball. Oh no, I wanna... Yeah, gratitude. How do you thank Passerby? <laughs> How do I thank Passerby? Donka! Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was just checking the uh, stream status. God, I need I need balls. Oh, uh, it's too late for that, Elrog. That's not a lot of characters. You can't even fit thank you in there. 
Steel Dragon Roselia. Okay, I'm gonna go max fringe on this. Oh, I just I started typing in my keyboard. As if that would do anything. <laughs> That's that muscle memory. You know what it is? It's uh it's Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, my favorite greeting. Can you lift it up a little bit? I think the top of the screen's cut off. There we go. That's your way to greet. <laughs> Slap somebody go, what up, I'm J Cool. What's your how do you greet Pat? I'm, I'm naming the Dragon Steel Roselia after Herman Lee. That's the Dragon Force guitarist. Yep. Yep, I'm going for that. This is probably all not going to be relevant to anything. No, I, I'm sure that's something like online. Yeah. It was fun, though. So there's a Pokemon Center right in front of, I think the dock is right near where the bridge you started on was. Hey, hold on, what's this? Battle, Battle Company. Company. That sounds like a like optional post-game kind of thing. I'll save first. You know that when we get to Sun Moon, I'm going to insist we choose the fire type, right? What was it again? It was Incineroar, that's Russell, right. Yeah, Russell Cat. Wait, what? Did this guy just tell me I'm unworthy and then walk away? By the way, if we do decide to do Gen 8 on stream, it's going to be another situation where it just drops in the middle of a, of a Pokemon Gen. We stopped in the middle of Gen 4 for Gen for uh, Gen 8. I guess this would be Gen oh, yeah. 9. Yeah, are you planning on getting the game? I, d I don't know. I've... I think it would be fun for us to stream it, but... Again, we're, we're so tight on stream time these days. Yeah. It, it would fine. take us just... way longer to get through than it did Gen 8. Well, if you could do it, you could... I don't have to be there for every stream, but... And it depends on what you want. Oh, hey! I, get, uh -oh. I can reasonably take these guys down. A level 14 Venusaur. Yeah, your defense is down. I guess that's kind of a double-edged sword, because Chip Away also doesn't care if the opponent's defense is lowered. It just ignores yeah. all stat changes. Yeah, it's uh, it's like you're voluntarily making your opponent unaware with that. You're voluntary. It's like unaware, but as an attack. God, I... <laughs> I love unaware as an ability. Yeah. You know what that does? Yeah. It just it it's makes so it so that your Pokemon is ignores all stat changes, right? Yeah, it's so fucking funny. Just like What are you my defense is supposed to be lowered? Oh. Yeah. Oh, is he supposed to hit harder? Oh. Oh, he's supposed to be smaller! Oh. But then they still don't get it. They'll have forgotten by the next turn anyway. It's like the, the Patrick Star bit 
where he's trying to have the wallet returned to him. <laughs> Patrick Star has unaware. It's not my wallet. <laughs> hey, is this Chris? Is he crap? No, it's Patrick. It's just, just that meme, except except with the ability unaware, like from a clip from a game, just over him. L Luffy with the ability unaware. <laughs> Yujiro has, uh, obviously has either Intimidate or Pressure. Yeah. Um. Who else would, uh... Kenpachi has, uh, Sturdy. You can't take him down in one hit. <laughs> or, uh, oh. what's... No, there's one called, uh... It does, it's not as cool sounding, but it's called Scrappy, and it lets fighting types hit, uh, ghost Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that'd be... Uh, they just Was don't give a, a shit. Is there, like, a, a show where a guy famously punches out a ghost? I feel like it's happened. Other than Yu Yu Hakusho, the show all about a guy punching ghosts. Ghost punch. Raise the shell. Hey, I hit something. Alright. Alright. Scrappy. I like how that's the only thing Scrappy does. Uh, it- I think it makes it so that- Maybe I'm thinking of no guard. That's Kenpachi, no guard. It makes it so that, uh, they- they can never miss, and opponents never miss them. Oh, that actually would be useful for, like, people who are like, I'm gonna use Flash, <laughs> fuck you! Well, and it's also, like, even with type advantages, like, it, oh, he'll yeah, hit- cutter. A normal will hit can... Ghost if there's no guard. Alright, Fury Cutter, that can replace Tackle. Wait, that's a bug type? Move? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's you can't the replace. one. Well, you can replace water gun or tackle. It's the one that starts weak and gets stronger every turn. It makes it suggest in succession. Uh, no, it's not. Doesn't force you to keep using it. You can stop at any time. I know. I just. Fifty versus twenty, but it gets stronger. How much stronger does it get every time it hits? I think it's like double. So like okay, 20, so 20, 40, then 40, then 8. Oh, no. No, I don't want this. Oh, maybe I do, though. I don't know. You have Whatever, enough different I... moves. Just replace Tackle or Water Gun. Because you already have a physical water attack. Pout Razor Shell is stronger than Water Gun, and is physical. I think I think that, uh, that uh, Musashi has the higher uh, special attack stat, though. Yeah, he does. Also, so water gun a normal type, so. I was gonna get rid of tackle. Uh, dark is weak. Actually, you know what? Because dark is weak to uh, to bug. Dark and psychic are, and grass. Yeah. So. So yeah, if I could actually fight off grass types if that in that matchup. Not that I'd want to, but. So everybody here is willing to fight. The Battle Office. I want to hear a battle remix of the Office theme. Hey, quick ball. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on, I gotta see if that exists. YouTube. Oh, I found Quick Ball. They're broken in this gen. I the Office so. theme. Enero Hardstyle Mix. <laughs> of official <laughs> Trap Remix. <laughs> Hip hop rap trap remix. The Office theme song metal version. Metal version actually sounds listenable. Well, that uh, well, to to most people, I actually can listen to. Then again, I was the kind of person who listened to Captain B part. Oh, man, that, this is too bad. No, I don't want Red Robin ads. Also, it's playing Twitch still. Whoops. Also, it's playing Twitch. That's about what I expected. Yeah. They can they can use that for the edgy reboot in five years. <laughs> oh,
Oh, speaking of uh, trap remixes, I found a trap remix of this. It played, um, it played, uh, during a, uh, during a, uh, like, uh, Breaking Bad's Felina, except uh, it's Spongebob. Huh? Okay, so you know how there's this uh, thing where people take, like, Spongebob sound effects and music and put it on, like, unfitting shows and movies? Yeah. Yeah, somebody did that with the, se with the series finale episode of uh, Breaking Bad. Okay. And they played this... This, uh, the trap version of the Krusty Krab song, uh, during a pivotal moment, uh, in, in like, the, a climactic moment in that episode. Is um, there a trap that plays in Breaking Bad? No, it was, it's funny because it, it was, like, uh, I don't know, it just fit, it just fit the, the mood of, like, what was going on, uh -huh. so. So, yeah, I won't, I won't, uh, I found a revive. I am better at Pokemon battles than I am at work. Is that something you should be boasting about? Office lady. Clerk. Oh, sorry, clerk. Alright, cool. I can, uh, I can put my uh, new move to the test. I wanted to go back and heal, but that seems like a bad idea. This place got to be full of trainers. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cross this bridge, heal, and then cross the bridge again if I want to fight those dudes. Oh no, Mega Drain! Am I dead? Not, Not quite. Yet. No, at least she got me. Damn it! That's that's what I that as I guess what people would call getting too cute. All right, Goku, take him out. Incinerate. That would also be uh, Hanayama's ability, no guard. Oh yeah, he doesn't give a shit. He takes every hit. He fucking ate bullets. Somebody smashed his fucking mouth shut. The bullets exploded, and he asked the other guy if he was ready to quit. <laughs> he's, he's like, are you done? It's a shame he stopped getting screen time in Baki. I liked him. Yeah, well, we had to go to prison and and uh, and uh, fight with uh, and fight alongside Mike Tyson against three uh, triplets. Who apparently did, like, appear earlier in the show, but they renamed him from Iron Mike to something else in the first Baki anime. And the first, I thought in the first one he was just Mike Tyson. Or no. No, they, yeah. they called him something else. At least for the, we watched the dub. I love the fact that, uh, that fucking, like, he was pretending to fight Mike Tyson, and then he just, by coincidence, he showed up. Oh, wow. I, I, I guess we just... I wasn't aware that we had dealt with Mike Tyson by that point in the show. This guy is tough. It's there we a, go. It's a ball of fluff. But isn't cotton, like, de like, dangerously flammable? You would think that would make it easier for you. What would that do? Oh, no, my speed fell. He's gonna hit first now. Almost. I really gotta hit a Pokemon Center after this. Oh no, I'm really slow now. I think dialogue isn't appearing for me. Like, I buy the things and then it just doesn't show anything. It hasn't been showing for either one. I think it's just a quirk of the emulator. Oh, weird. Oh, well, I was punching above my weight class. That's pretty good. Yawn. Oh, that's 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 a trolley move. Um, I might actually keep that. It's great. It's guaranteed sleep. It's great for catching Pokemon. Yeah. Um. Lick is kind of useless. Yeah. Not many things are weak uh, to Ghost. Even if they were, even... it's like twenty power. 
20 power non-stab. Yeah, I'll take Yawn. I'm good at Pokemon, but I still lost. Alright, I'll be back for the rest of you punks. Weren't you going to the pier? Um, you know, soon. Got an idea. Alright, Poke Center. <clears throat> oh, a new part of town I haven't been at yet. God, I, th there's a bunch of random items I could get if I really wanted to explore this place, but, uh... Do it. Random items don't aren't usually worth it in this game. There's only a oh, handful what? of useful oh, because items. Because it's winter, because it's winter, I can't get an ice cream cone. What? Why? Why would she be standing out there if she's not selling anything? Um. To to have people not be confused. I'm a oh. clown. I own a museum. I'd like to paint rock type Pokemon. Will you show me what kind of? All right, what's a rock type? I need a. Oh! This guy. Oh. Rock type, okay. Do I have a rock type Pokemon? I would bet you don't yet. Ah, oh, shit. Well, fuck. I found the empty building, by the way. Maybe, oh, yeah? it, maybe it varies. Like by day of the week or something. Like which buildings are empty and actually horrible. today is Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, too bad it's Sunday. It is literally Sunday as we're recording this. Oh, the Pokemon Center's outside. I went here for nothing. Oh, here it is. This way. Wait, no, this is... Oh, Game Freak. Okay, yeah. I stumbled upon Game Freak by a complete accident. So I think the place you're going is to the lower right from the Pokemon Center. I'm not done with the battle area yet. Don't rush me. Okay. The battle area? Like the, the, battle... the building? Yeah, the building. I need, to, I need to kick everybody's ass there and assert my dominance. So Flash was not randomized. Maybe it said you got Flash, but it was actually something else. There might is be, like, a, a place to use Flash in this game, which would is be... Is Flash important for no. anything? Okay. There might be an optional area that it's useful for navigating, which is why they kept it in the same spot. Maybe. I think that was the case in the previous gen. Bartender gives you something. Wait, what? Oh, there's two floors here. I'm only halfway done, sorry. I got lemonade. Maybe items aren't randomized. I thought I would have randomized them. Alright, Poke Freak. Rock and Rolla. Oh, okay, that's rock type. I can take that. It's like a speaker, right? Rock sound type. There you go. <laughs> oh, you use X special defense? Good thing I'm hitting you with normal defense. With... Oh, it only sometimes works, huh? What does? Uh, the razor shell. It's a, it's a secondary ability of it, like lowering defense. Oh, I thought it was like it had like a critical hit ratio. No, it, it lowers uh, special. It lowers defense. Not special, just regular defense. All right, next one. Oh, I want to talk to you about battle bots for a second. Speaking of people sending out things to battle. Okay, like the the live action show where people build robots to fight. Yeah, yeah, and you, you gotta. You, yeah, I think you'd be interested in it if you watched it. It's 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 pretty fun. There's there's a guy on there who talks like uh, this guy. This guy's a water type. I gotta switch out. There's a guy on there who talks like a uh, like a WWE 
like a uh, wrestler and it's pretty fun but that's not the guy i'm talking about today um there's this uh, robot built by a bunch of uh mit graduate or some you know, some college grads grads called the uh, glitch yeah. it looks it looks like a fucking stealth bomber first of all okay and uh, and second of all, it's got that. It's got like a, a, a like an egg beater drum. Like it looks like a like a uh, two pronged egg beater, except it's like fifty pounds and it spins up to like hundreds of miles per hour, like about one to two hundred miles per hour, I think. Um, it's got omnidirectional wheels, which means you know what that means? It can strafe. Mm. And all that sounds like it'd be like because it's also very low profile. And all that sounds like it, it'd be like a killer in the ring, except um, it it moves like like a drunk dude. It's yeah. like you know that drunken boxing, you know drunken boxing. Yeah. It's like that. Um. So. <laughs> so so this thing is it's like fighting its first uh, match against a robot, and you know it, 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 oh it was fighting a robot called Ghost Raptor. Um, and it won because Ghost Raptor was just constantly like, oh, this guy is, this guy can't move, he can't move at all, and he ends up constantly getting his, his shit kicked in, and then finally he won. Uh, his next match, uh, he was all, like, he's, the first three matches Glitch fought, it, it won three matches in, in a row, and, and then, and then had to withdraw from the tournament because... Because it had like uh, it, it had it couldn't be repaired in time, despite it winning. Yeah. And people were like, "Oh, what a what a fucking fluke of a robot! What's uh, what type is masculine? Just pure water." Okay. I don't have anything good against water. Shit. Didn't you have a grass? Um, I might have gotten rid of it. Have... Yeah, water's good defensively, but. This is another so, instance of like there 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 being a dedicated fish quota. They feel the need to add a lot of water Pokemon in every gen because well, there's a lot of types of water creatures. Oh, we whatever. need to populate the seas. Oh, hey, cool, another yacht. All oh, right, chip away. Go to sleep. So um. <clears throat> Or was I? It had to be withdrawn because it taking so, too much damage. Yeah, but it managed to repair itself in time for another like uh, tournament where, like, uh, it's a standard like tournament where it's like brackets, and then at the very end you fight like a boss, and then if you do that you get to like the final bracket. Yeah. And 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 I was like thinking, man, and you know, glitch had to glitch. It was still just kind of drifting. And like, it, uh, like looking like it was barely control most of the time, but it won every single match up to like the final boss, uh, just by judges' decision, like split decisions at points where they where the judges disagreed, and uh, <laughs> so it was a very so, lucky robot. I, well, it's not lucky. It, it does enough damage. It keeps winning because because its weapon is just that powerful, and its movement is so. Bizarre. It's like fight Yoshimitsu almost, or like Eddie Gur Eddie Gordo from Tekken, or like, or like you know a guy who's just completely drunk. He's a drunken bar brawler, uh, and um, God, Yon's effective. Um, but its final match was against a robot called Rotator, who is which is known for being like built like really durable. And just could take a hit. It, nothing could knock it out. Like, like it fought like robot knockout artists in the fast in the past, and it just kept on going. And fucking glitch hit it once, and and it flew in the air, and parts of it were falling down as as it was falling down to the to the floor. Like yeah. its batteries and internals just were shredding, and everybody was stunned. The driver of Rotator was just like his eyes were wide, and then glitch's team was just, like, cheering, like, what the fuck? And throughout all this time, Glitch's team was just like, oh, hey, Hypnosis, um, is that worth removing Yawn? No, Yawn's better. Because it's guaranteed to work, even if it's a yeah. turn delayed. 
Yeah. You're right. A third fish. Okay. It sounds like you're I mean, describing, like, those dudes building SK-8, but as a battle bot. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> it is basically the SK-8 of, of the... Because, like, I've seen robots that were, like, uh... Actually, no, you know what? The SK-8 of BattleBots is rusty. Because that was built in a junkyard with scrap. Yeah. And everybody loves it. <laughs> um, Glitch is like, is like SK-8 Coon. Except, uh, except they haven't gotten all the kinks right. Or SK-8-er. The, the really weird tie-dye one? Yeah. SK-8, it but he hangs out with the dudes from Megas. God, he, I, I, I got. He's seven and zero. Oh. He, te he technically has never lost a match, which, which is very amusing to me because everybody else just gets like really pissed off. Oh crap! Oh, well, I gotta switch out. Uh. Yeah, you know what? I'll do this. High defense, huh? Oh, you got chip away too. Fuck. Oh, that's fine. You're asleep. Yuri Cutter. So, yeah. I just I went back into the forest and trying to clear out the trainers. Twenty. Forty. 80! Kind of looks like it could be a dark type. Water dark, basculine. Yeah, it's... What kind of fish is this supposed to be based off of? I assume a piranha? 160! A... No, it's like those fighting fish. Because there's red and blue bar variants and they don't get along. Oh, yeah. He's used both of them. This is also the Pokemon that had that variant in uh, Legends Arceus. It had, oh, the, yeah. like, the legion of, of, of ghost fish, or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. That was... Alright. Uh, well, that that was a bit rougher. You, I didn't expect him to be packing, like, like three godfish. Well, let's see what happens with this next battle. I mean, they're not special Pokemon in oh, this Oh, Scope gym. Lens. Better chance to make a critical hit. Okay. Combine that with Focus Energy, I can get somebody who's just, like, really good at targeting vitals. Alright, Floor 55. That, the Galarian Farfetch was the first time it really felt like a Pokemon was really built around getting crits. Yeah. That was the first time you could, like, do them consistently. Oh yeah, that was that. Well, that was a requirement to level up, and B, it was like a nice change of pace. I just wish that like Surfetch the ball. Oh, sorry. Can you still hear me? Yeah. I just wish that Surfetch evolved from like a regular Farfetch, but no, he had to do a, a, a variant of Farfetch that that apparently looked at the leak that its uh, fucking uh, Cantonian cousins were using. It was like, no, fuck that. I'm we're gonna. It was bigger, too big, too heavy to be a regular leak. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, let's battle. My work is a Pokemon battle. Oh, for us all to be so lucky. Oh, there's another robot in BattleBots that, uh... That actually got explicitly banned from competing next year. Um, because it kept breaking the fucking arena. Yeah. It's, it was, it was a robot, with, it was called Deep Six. And it had this, it was basically, most of the, the, the robot was the weapon. It was this giant fuck off, like, blade, spinning blade. And every time it got, like, even remotely off balance, it would just put holes in the arena floor. Which was like, fuck it off. That's kind of why Glitch was having issues, because Deep Six 
was in an earlier match, and it and it like fucked up the floor enough that glitch was like getting hung up on it a little bit because yeah. it's so low to the ground. It's and so they just basically told him, "Don't ever come back." Just, it's like if Kimpachi. It's like if people actually got pissed off for. Uh, I was thinking Megus with the property damage. Like, Megus would never be invited to another giant robot tournament. Oh. Maybe. It, it might. What are some of the, like, highest property damage characters in things? Star in Season 1 just wrecked shit every single episode. Okay, I can I can answer this question for you. Okay. Uh, Kimpachi is second. Are we talking non-DBZ characters, or are we adding DBZ characters to the mix? I guess we can include DBZ characters. They usually at least try to go where there's no people, right? Right. Boo, then, because he blew up the most planets on screen. He did do that. Yeah. So let's... let's, let's it, DBZ characters, we can argue about the semantics of who destroyed what in DBZ. So let's... let's minus the DBZ characters, because that's cheating. Um, uh, indirectly, like, the famously, the Straw Hats... Did not directly, but they caused that dude to blow up a portion of, the, like, the big government place. Okay, Kenpachi cut a castle in half. Yeah. He, he did do he that. He did that effortlessly. He cuts a... He, he did that... <laughs> After, like, being beaten by the dude who created the castle, granted, but still. Yeah, he's like, no, fuck you, your castle's dead. Um... And then, uh, Lena Inverse... She's blown up... Towns. Towns, yeah. <laughs> she, There's an alternate reality you know where what? she destroyed all of reality. You know what? It's a good thing that that was Sunday, because that town would have been populated when she destroyed it. There is, yeah, especially in, like, the Lena and Naga, the OVAs, there's a lot of, like, robot battles and just entire towns getting destroyed and their shenanigans. Anytime Perfect. Slayer's characters go against each other... There's a lot of collateral damage. Yeah, um... What was it that in, uh, in fucking, uh... MLP, like, somebody sent, uh, Twilight through a, through a mountain DBZ style? That did happen in, in the Season 4 finale. Now, also, that same dude, Tirek, he, like... He, he went on a rampage, destroyed some towns, burned down the library, but that's just kind of standard for giant monsters. Yeah, so somebody that's a human that's caused the most property damage. Um, yeah, still Lena Inverse. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's, not it's, human. He's annoyed, I guess. The thing about Star Versus is that it's not really acknowledged in any way, and the same as Megas XLR. Like, they never yeah. really get any repercussions for it. I'm I'm guessing they've subsidized giant robot battles in the Mega's XLR universe. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't be putting giant science going. Hey, look, you could destroy this if you want. It's fine. People do like heavily underreact to the existence of a giant robot in Mega's which XLR. Which, like Star, suggests that this isn't their first rodeo when it comes to this shit. Yeah. All we know in the 1800s, there could have been giant steampunk robots fighting each other. This is the same universe as Steam Boy. Everyone saw the Steam Castle, and that's just, everything is all over. Yeah, that was the birth of the giant robot fighting, and Jersey has one, and we don't ever, like, meet up with any more of them, because there's no fucking point. Alright, I'm switching to my fire type. I, I, I don't want to baller with a cocoon. No thanks. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Come at me, bro! No, walks away. Yeah. No, I'm glad. You know what? I, I like watching BattleBots be because I watched it as a kid. This been, It's been going on for a while, back when it was on Comedy Central. You watched with your parents, right? Yeah. Uh, Lilith, uh, my, uh, my, he, he, edit, I don't know if we're going to edit that out. My, uh, both of them, yeah. Um. And it was something we watched even back when I was a kid, and uh, and it was one of the most. It, it was fun, and you know what? As the technology gets uh, gets like more powerful, you see more epic things. Like before, 
there was like one point where there was fire in like the old season and it was like a small one. And now, like, a, there was a match where fucking a guy hit a fuel tank just right and the whole robot just fucking went up in flames and exploded. Yeah. It's very dramatic. There's a like, lot of garbage in this forest. Are the Anyway, uh... You're kind of, you sound kind of close to your mic again, by the way. That's weird, it's still in the same place it was. Maybe it's because the thing was tilted down. How's it sound now? Uh, it's, it's still peaking. How is it peaking? What the fuck? How about now? Better. Okay, good. I'm gonna save. Save, save, no crashes, no crashes. I don't think it's crashed while saving yet. There we go. The way the Good. bridge curves right here, I've never seen anything like it. They don't have this shit in Kanto. Um, so, there's also this other show that I've started watching uh, with, uh, with my folks. Yeah. It's called Severance. Have you ever heard of it? No. Uh, let me tell you about about what what uh, the Severance uh, procedure is. I want to ask you if that sounds if, there, if it sounds like there's something morally or ethically wrong with it. Are okay. you ready? I, I'm I'm waiting for the Mari Povich pitch. Okay. So here's what Severance is. It's a procedure. It's a medical procedure. A small surge, like a uh, mild brain surgery, where you get a chip implanted. And then it'll separate uh, your memory into two categories. When you are at work and when you are not at work. And when I say separate, I mean when you're at work, you don't remember anything about your, your past, your like life outside of work. And when you're outside of work, you don't remember anything about work. Yeah. Does that sound ethically and or morally wrong to you? Yes. Yes. Cool. This is a fictional show, right? Yes, it is fiction. I, I'm sorry I had to add, I, I went into this discussion thinking that it was going to be like BattleBots, like a reality show, and I got confused no. halfway through the explanation. No, 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 this is, this is fiction. It's directed by Ben Stiller. Uh, okay. It's not, it's, it's comedy, but it's very low-key. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's basically, nobody remembers their lives outside when they enter it. So, basically, either you remember like just going into work and then like going into like the area where severance kicks in and then you like and then you just go in and then you leave and you're just and just it feels, feels like no time at all passed or you live every single day in work yeah oh hey it's even more crowded now now that it's like midday oh there's a dude on this dock here who will give you an uh, evolution stone what which one Fire, water, or leaf. Oh, like they trunk, they truncated it. Huh? Never mind. So yeah, so yeah, you said that that sounds horrifying, or just ethically incorrect. It it sounds very much like it would benefit corporations and no one else. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, I, thinking about it, it's like basically you've created an indentured servant of yourself that is just forever working at work. Yeah. Or you, or, you know, you could be that indentured servant. You don't know. Why am I here again? Okay, which of these stupid docks... Okay, here it is. It's it's the center one. It's to the left of the Pokemon Center. Is that Iris? I guess it is. Oh man, where where did the fuck is Battle Building? I want to I want to I want to fight the CEO of the corporation. I don't know where was it. I should probably go there too. That's good. E it's good EXP. Yeah, in that show, at one point, uh, do do some do do like something completely unrelated. For so, he gets an injury on his head, and then as he's leaving, he gets a gift card saying, Oh no, you just slipped and fell. And 
So they're lying to them about what go what about what kind of accidents happen. And he doesn't even have any idea to know. Yeah. I kind of want to see a plot point where he uh, he starts sending messages to and from his different selves. See, they thought of that. Apparently, like the the, the one woman, the new the new person on the floor, who's like, "Wait, what's going on?" Uh, she was like trying to quit, and she tried to send like a message to herself by walking up with like a note. And apparently, they they've created a device which can detect like written code or anything. And so she went into the to the elevator up off the severed floor with it, and the whole thing flashed red. And the guy come out and is just like, "You're trying to send messages, huh? You should come with me. Go to the break room." Okay. It, it's more horrifying than you think it is, but yeah. The but Earth yeah, they King thought invites that. you to Lake Lao Guy. I understand. Oh, that's grass type shit. Uh How monkey did these fight. how did these three come to be? The fire, grass, and water monkeys? Because they're obviously they're related. Um, maybe you just Maybe they're regional variants of like continents that don't in exist anymore. Yeah. This grass type's bodying me. Alright. I'm not I'm not gonna You think you got me? No. I've got your number, stupid. Grab some have some lemonade. Feel right as rain. Give your Magmar a bottle of water. <laughs> and it just takes damage. It, well, that's different. That's like, it's, it's, it's... Okay, I just need one more good hit, and it's faster than me, so I'm just gonna heal now. Alright, sure. Give us some water. You've come a long ways from when we started doing these Pokemon streams. You were just pressing buttons to use moves. Was I? Oh no. Fury swiping again. Is it gonna be. Fi oh, just two. No. Please. Please stop. Enough. I remember okay. a lot of points in Gen 3 where you would, like, get fucked because you weren't thinking about the opponent moving first. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's, it's gonna use the, the water type one. I'm gonna leg sweep a deer. Okay. Saw buck. So, do you think it'd be any more ethical if they did that for, like, you know, military veterans? I feel no, like that would worse. be a lot, yeah, there'd be a lot of problems. I mean, it would <sighs> slightly, but still no, because the whole idea of the military is you're like giving yourself to them for a period of your life, basically. Yeah, sir, so you're you're serving, but then you just you go there and you leave, and all, and you're just like you don't remember anything. That's you've lost like five years of your life, but then it's like, do you want to remember? You want to know all the atrocities you could have prevent, you could have participated in while you were over there? Do you want to see what you are in the dark? And you're just like, no thanks, I'm good. All right, final dude, what's up? Who are you? Is it the okay, janitor? So, is he the final uh, boss? No, he's the chairman. It is the janitor. What? I'm Scruffy, the janitor. Of course he uses Trubbish. That's 
poison? Yes. Straight poison, okay. Psychic is strong against poison. Correct. So okay. is ground. Oh, ground is too? Yeah. Oh, well, my ground type is level 12, so that's probably not going to be a good idea. You have a ground type? Oh, I guess he's normal. Never mind. I think he's got some ground moves. Oh, you're thinking of the dog? Yeah. Double slap. Shit. Alright. Oh, fuck. How is that bag of trash faster than me? Uh. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? Uh. Can you hear me? Well, shit. I'm guessing you can't hear me. Hello? Sorry, I blacked out there for a second. I'm back now. Okay. My internet dropped for a split second. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. Alright. I just keep slapping me, but- Oh, fuck off! Again? Imagine how it would feel to get slapped by a pile of trash. Uh-oh. Uh, did you- did you drop again? I still hear you. I heard you for a second. Maybe he is well and truly dropped now. Oh, I'm gonna. We're back. Am I going to move again and then and then fucking like it's gonna stall again? Acid spray. All right then. Oh fuck! How to avoid it? Please stop! Please don't kill me! Please don't! You son of a bitch! Fucking. I think it was. I, I, so I was watching one of the Achievement Hunter videos, and someone pointed. One of the guys pointed out that uh, the Mega Pokemon that are introduced next gen, we we yeah. get them in the French generation, and then at the same time we get the Ruby and Sapphire remakes, and all of the Mega Pokemon introduced in the Ruby and Sapphire remakes have Pokemon Pokedex entries about how they're like in constant pain or something like that. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Like they're abilities Pachino. That's normal, right? Yes. Okay. It's just like a weird trend that whoever did the Pokedex entries went with for that set of games? For some reason. Yeah. Like the the Glalie one, the Pokemon I just fought. Oh, I, I fuck. think it has a Mega version and the entry says something like it the evolution of Mega broke its jaw and now it can't eat, so its just mouth hangs open. Or something about, like that. What about, uh, Bunnery? What is, what is, it, it's Mega. What did uh, that do to it? Mega Lopunny? Yeah, sorry. I don't know that's, if that was introduced in, uh, in Omega Ruby. All of its Mega Evolutions causes extreme pain. Lopunny. Uh, I think there was something with the uh, Mega Salamence where it's like it, its arms fuse with its wings. It's... Which, thank I god, those transformations are temporarily, because that'd be incredibly horrible otherwise. I got the EXP share! Oh, great. Well, it's a good thing you did this, I guess. Yeah, I knew there was a reason for me to come here, and now I got it. So now, I'm... it'd be nice if we could, like, finish the gym to, to, to polish this off. I, well, I gotta I, do. I gotta do the pure shit first. It depends on how much there is there. You might just have to fight like one plasma grunt or something. Well, okay. I gotta go to the Pokemon Center first, and then I'm gonna throw the EXP share on my scrappy little dog. Uh, Mega Lopunny was not introduced until Gen Seven, Hawaii. Oh, that's that's the Gen Seven. That's when they uh, they like refined their uh, fucking like, mega evolution process so that it wasn't as painful for the fucking Pokemon, I bet. 
Mega Evolution awakens, it awakens its combative instincts. It has shed any fur that got in the way of its attacks. Wait, that's Mega Lopunny? It's just Lopunny, but more naked? Oh, why, why is that a problem? So, it's just like, people are like, nope, no problem here. Alright. You get the EXP share. I think I already got one, so what am I going to get from these guys? Oh, well, the, God. Oh, well, the fact you were, like, belittling me for just, like, Oh, why are you going over there? Stop it. And then... <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's a ship. This is the wrong pier. Wait, I thought I was... No, that that's not my ghost dark. That solves my ghost dark type. There was never a Mega Evolution for Pikachu, was there? No. Well, because well, that... Mega oh, sorry, Evolutions Ra only happen for, yeah, fully evolved Pokemon. What would be Mega Raichu? I don't know. Wasn't Mega... P wasn't uh, Gigantamax... Gigantamax Pichu just, like, fat? He was just a big, chonky fella? Oh, yeah. Um... I know that the uh, that the Alolan Raichu is like a surfer dude. It's psychic. Psychic electric, yeah. yeah. And people are like, why is it evolved like that? And then somebody, and this is canon, like uh, somebody in Alola joked, well, maybe it's because it ate a bunch of pancakes. Okay. It's funny. See, it's funny because, 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 uh, yeah, anyway, um... Oh, that's not... I was confusing low sweep with, with uh, low kick. Different move. Alright, pan... Oh, I, I have pants here. I should probably get get the stone for that. What, what's a good... Uh, I would honestly save this guy, because it's just a free elemental stone. Maybe there's something else you'll want to involve instead of the monkey. Okay, fair enough. We have Unless you really want to evolve the monkey. Eh, well... Like, oh, yeah, maybe that's... you'll find something later that you want to evolve with a Leaf Stone or oh. something. This is a region with no repeat Pokemon, is there? What do you mean? Oh, no old ones, no. Yeah. So. Sorry I'm late, I had to grab the EXP share. Iris, you did everything you could. Iris, uh, Iris. That's so bad! Iris. Forgive me, Zero! What? No, what am I fighting for? Okay, so there's this character named Iris in a, in a Mega Man X4. Yeah. And it was like uh, the little sister of a, of the one of the villains of that game, Colonel. And so Zero destroys Colonel, and Iris goes mad and, like, takes in, uh, like, uh, Colonel's, like, uh, parts to, like, fight Zero. And it's just Zero has to, like, put her down. And there's this, uh, fully animated cutscene, like, traditional animation, where he's just clutching her dying body, and he's like, Iris, why? She's like, she's like, oh, Zero, and then she dies. And he goes, screams out, No! What am I fighting for? Except it was English dubbed and it was hammy as shit. I am familiar with that scene. Oh, okay, I didn't know cool. the context with, like, Colonel and Iris, but I, I knew the delivery. Yeah. I know Mega yeah. Man 8 and X4 are the are the mimetic, like, animated cutscene games. Uh, I think Colonel and Iris have a have an uh, EXE or Battle Network uh, counterpart. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a... Uh, uh, I, I think that. Battle Network 4 has Team Proto Man and Team Colonel, doesn't it? I, I think that's 5, actually. Oh. Maybe. Um, which 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 one are you thinking of playing? I don't, well, we should go through them in sequence. we got to do 4 next, right? I know, but but when we get to that point, which I one don't are know. you thinking? Proto Man kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so uh, I will say this now. Um, Team Colonel is apparently canon, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna be doing that one okay. if you want things to make sense. All right. 
I'll have to remember which of the of the Gen 6 games we want to play because one of them makes sense with the plot and the other makes no fucking sense at all. Yes. Oh my god, we gotta do the one that makes no sense. Because one of the Pokemon represents life and one of them represents death, so obviously only one of them will fit in with the villain's plan. Life? No, we're gonna overload life and to make and then and then create something new. Death? Like. You know. <laughs> It's it's called it's what we call a uh, life overflow. Oh no! Two gym leaders and a, a little boy. I got a break for it. I guess we don't know that Iris is a gym leader yet, but no, you would know because you looked at the list in the in the quiz building. Yeah, it's like Iris. Iris is the only- I only chose Iris because that was the only one I recognized. I don't even remember the fucking trio gen leaders. There was- Iris yeah, because the one of them is, like, the partner dude for this generation of the anime. Isn't it the green-haired kid? I think so. I think it's Iris and green-haired dude. What type is- uh, you said Iris is dragon type? Yes. Okay. Where- okay, where the fuck is this guy hiding? Where'd you find him? I haven't gone yet. I would venture either the top of the town or in front of the gym. Alright, I'm gonna fight this other dancer while you're... Water. Who's my, uh... Water. Okay, cool. So you're still short a counter for water types. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a. I don't have one yet. I could just grab a water type, but I guess there was the grass types in the forest, but they're all they're all kind of boring. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna fury swipe me, huh? Fuck you. Look fury cutter hits harder every time I hit it. Look at this wonderful invention of a Pokemon. It's just two gears. It's a bore. It's a more boring mag, magnemite. Unfortunately. You know what? My problem isn't even so much with the concept of the Pokemon, but, like, the actual sprites. Because this Pokemon's evolution are exactly this sprite, but with more added on to it. They don't even bother making, like, a new position or anything. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't have any interest in playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, do you? No, I've tried. It's not my kind of game. Well, it's, just, it's funny because then you get to hear, like, Pokemon actually talk, and it's like... Don't fuck with Kecleon. Oh, God, what was up? Oh, yeah, he's the banker, right? He's, like, the shopkeeper, and if you piss him off, he just, like, goes aggro and is ultra-powerful. He's, like, the shopkeeper in Spelunky. He's the shopkeeper... Also, there's a shopkeeper in uh, in Hades who is, like, the uh, ferryman sticks, yeah. and you can steal from him. And that was a bonus boss battle. But if you beat him, he gives you a discount. Uh, is there like a whole plasma building, really? Oh, this is the abandoned one. No one's here, not a soul. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you found out where to go, because I actually didn't know. This is like a, a swinging battle theme. It's in three time. Okay, uh, the the crook. Ground dark, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, this should be easy. Team Plasma battle theme, as sung by Frank Sinatra. I'ma steal your Pokemon. Steal them right the fuck. Sandile. Okay. Hey, yeah, you were saying assholes. Kenny Rogers is now level four. Oh Jeez. no, he beat my second crocodile. <laughs> How could this have happened? I kind of want that, want that to be a thing in, like, an anime. Like, uh, someone uses an ultimate technique, and it doesn't work, 
and then they, ah ha ha, but you'll never expect, and they try the same exact thing again, thinking it'll be surprising. It reminds me of, uh, of do you do the ed quirk of editing of Bleach when the guy, when they kept on cutting back to the guy unsealing, unse unsealing his, uh, Bankai. It was or... Aranero, I think, the, the, like, the ninth Iran car, disguised as Kai and Shiba, and oh, they yeah. started at episodes with that, like, five episodes in a row, and then didn't do the fight. Yeah. So it was like oh, he kept just sh sheathing his sword and taking it out again every episode just to show off. Uh, uh. Yeah, was it, what was it? Uh, oh, man. I, if I, if, if I were to get to that part writing out, like, a fiction, like, just a written version of uh, Bleach the Bridge, I would totally make the true form of them. Like Stalter and Waldorf. That that Statler. I think that was our plan for them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, seems like he's there. Seems I have to write up. Oh. X transceiver. Seen plasmas inside. We All were right, thinking we're going like Cheech and Chong for the two dudes that worked for uh, Kukaku. Yes. Uh, hey man, you're not doing it right. You gotta hold the orb like this, eh? And then, uh... There's options. I can... Anyway. Oh, there's three sages here. My word, if this isn't the gym leader, <laughs> Berg. I was picturing, like, 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 three, like, somewhat intimidating looking, like, old men, and then suddenly a group of, like, young kids just start gang-beating them. <laughs> like, wait, no, you have to hear our evil plan! Shut the fuck up, old like, man! They're so off-genre, having three sages in robes in a fucking Pokemon game. It's a like, New York-themed Pokemon game. It's like the fight if the final boss of, like, Kirby was Sephiroth. It's like that thing where we, the, 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 the fan fiction generator where Vegeta went into a sewer and found a fucking cult. Yeah. Wait, or like the, the cult in ja Jackie Chan Adventures, just in modern thou, Scotland. Thou knoweth too much. No, I don't know anything. <laughs> you stumbled upon our secret library. What you library? have a secret library? They were able to cast spells, too, which is... <laughs> they were. I don't think these guys can cast spells. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> then again, who knows? We have I mean, psychics, psychics in Pokeverse. Psychics are canon in this universe. Yeah. It's kind. I guess it's kind of in that way, like, the, the sort of postmodern Earthbound setting. Because psychics are canon, but magic is not. Yeah, like... Like, it's weird, because it's like, oh, magic, that's stupid. Now, psychics, on the other hand... There's just the existence of the psychic type is kind of just a consequence of when the first game happened in the late 90s, right? Yeah. I think I think uh, psychic uh, psychic abilities are more of a uh, Japanese thing than even the U.S., because the U.S., with its folklore... Its folklore is all over the fucking place, because it's so young. They like, were very you... popular in Japan for a little while. Are, yeah, I wonder if that's a consequence of uh, Shoko Asahara's, uh, like, influence before he decided to try his hand at a terrorist attack. Who was, who was that? Was that uh, Shoko Asahara, he, no, 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 he, um, he was a cult leader uh, in Japan, uh, and he, his, uh, he ran Om Shinrikyo, which is... Like, he gathered a bunch of, like, scientists and, like, well, like, knowledgeable people and stuff to, uh, to, like, you know, operate a cult. And, you know, like, with most cults, he had a doomsday clock and he thought, you know what, I'll trigger World War III by, by doing, like, a gas attack on Japan and framing the Americans. Yeah. And, uh, the Japanese fucking no-sold it. I mean, people got hurt and died, but the Japanese in general, they were just, like... They were just like, yeah, people died, so we still gotta get to work. And they just use the fucking trains anyway. Yeah. They use sarin gas, and that's fucking crazy. That is, like, insane. Actually insane. So some and, more culture. Yeah, um, and this guy, he was fucking beat Takashi. I had him on his, like, talk show at one point before this all went down. This guy had fucking clout. 
fucking insane, man. I bet it was more some some work of fiction that popularized it. Yeah, it was even in in Dragon Ball because remember like General Blue, uh, Frieza just kind of used psychokinesis briefly for no real effect. Chaozu. I wonder who what the first piece of media was to pro like uh, promote psychics and where it came from. If it was, I like, bet an there was a popular like Japanese series that influenced all of the later ones. At the X series was one that was all about psychics that was in the in the nineties. X oh the band? No. It was a an anime series. Okay, yeah. There's a band called X in Japan. Maybe it was wait, when was Earthbound released? That was the early nineties, right? Yeah, um But that was probably that, it, after the trend. And started. before that and before that there was Mother as well. Yeah. Which I Mother think also used psychic. Yeah. That's that's what I meant, Mother One. God, I want I want that to make a comeback, just like psychic abilities uh, to be to make a comeback. I'm, it's all like magic now, and like urban fantasy is just oh fuck it, it's magic, it's all magic, but it's like Maybe no like X Files. When was when X Files? Was the X Files season... dabble in all forms of like cryptids and like conspiracies and shit. When like, was season uh, one of Stranger Things? Did that have to do with psychics? I don't know. I, I you're right. I don't know. I don't know. We do. I can't. Um, I guess it's also kind of always. Leet, even Elf and Leet didn't really have psychics because that was a different race of creatures that had like you know. It turned out to stuff. not be psychics, but it was it was portrayed as telekinesis at the start to like appeal to fans of psychics. I, I get the feeling. The Seven Sages. Oh right, there's oh. like plot happening. Uh, we we took this Pokemon. Ah, but it was just a trap to lure you into a meeting with us, the Seven Sages. Seven wise men. <laughs> they, they fucking turned heel and they're like, we gotta steal all the Pokemon to fight Ganon. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we... We'll revive the. Is he just? Is he the G Man now? Gets us. <laughs> yeah, get the G Man. Gets us. <laughs> <Did she? laughs> we will revive the legend of Unova <laughs> and win Unova. the hearts and minds, Mister Freeman. Of, of, <laughs> does the combine come down? You have got to, and instead of like the like whatever happens in uh, Half Life Two, being like canon is just Pokemon battles and shit. Have you now, watched, uh, sorry, go on. Now, Mr. Freeman, you're gonna want to choose a starter. Uh, <laughs> like post-apocalypse Pokemon. And I'm not talking about Colosseum. Did you see the recent Did You Know Gaming about Colosseum? No, I didn't. Apparently was... the devs, they were recruited from Dragon Quest devs, and they knew nothing about Pokemon. Oh yeah, I, I I remember that reading that uh, independently. Um, just, so they just made up like something. Pretty much, they uh, they had figured to like oh the Pokemon audience has grown up. We got to grow up with them. We got to do an older themed game, which is admirable, but it that, it just it didn't really tag, feel like a Pokemon cool. game. No, it felt like a JRPG. I I do appreciate that. Uh, that the Digimon series has grown up with its audience. Apparently, the the more, most recent game, Survive, is like gruesome as shit in a lot of places. Oh, really? Yeah. I think the thing is, is that is that you got fans of uh of uh this a Pokemon that have tried to do fan games about like uh that are like uh darker, and they just kind of go too far. I think there is Pokemon Uranium. Which was pretty, like, la I, I, I hesitate to say laughable, like, not well received. It, it was Although, over the top. Like, you can tell when something is trying a little too hard to be, like, dark and edgy and adult. I was thinking, you know, you know what you would do? You just have, like, a Pokemon generation. You set it in, like, a Pokemon version of Twin Peaks. Yeah. And, and 
have, have it make maybe seem like everything is all just a dream. The I dream think, of a Snorlax. I think a good balance is definitely possible, and I don't think Colosseum and XD went too far in, like, the adult direction. No, like, like you think Colosseum was edgy. You should try Pokemon... What was it? Rejuvenation? I, I don't know. It was, like, a really edgy one that was set in, like, a, like a city, like a megalopolis that looked like shit. Majora's Mask is really, like, the standard for that perfect balance of kids and adults. Yeah. Like it, you're able to be a little dark, have some adult themes without taking away all the fun. Uh, Twilight Princess, uh... Twilight Princess say... removes some of the fun, in my opinion. Yeah. It's not this as... Not it, a... The it's wackiness like... is all in the character designs. There's a lot of wacky characters in Twilight Princess, but oh, they're yeah, the, all the in fucking... this bleak dark creep. brown world that i will say that that you can that part of the reason why majora's mask worked so well was it was because it was allowed to have color as yeah. well like the purples of the mask the it's just they're just walking around the world there's even though everything is cursed to shit it, even termina field is like relatively cheerful yeah Clock town is full of life yeah, and that's kind of what made it work, because the apocalypse was coming, but everybody was trying to pretend it wasn't happening. Which is honestly more prescient now than, than like, ever before. Yeah. Alright, uh... Everybody's trying to ignore the fucking... Hey, I, I, I about... made those jokes a year ago. What, the... the like, the coronavirus Are... things. All the Majora Towns people looking up at the moon. It's just the flu! It's all honey. It is all honey. Welcome to the it's... bug bur the bug gym. Ever why is everything honey? So uh my blastoise is an electric type that is on fire. Fighting normal can summon a sandstorm. What the fuck? And Steel Dragon has an ability that makes all of its moves normal type really is just garbage in that forest. Garbage. Oh, are you a clown? Oh, I, I bet you're gonna battle me if I walk into you. I'm a clown! Look at my bug Pokemon. Paddles in the Kalesa Gym are beautiful. They are pure art. Okay, Soka. I guess we're doing, like, a bug artist thing? I don't know how those are necessarily correlated. Okay, you, you know you know those people that like uh, take uh, molten aluminum and pour them down abandoned art uh, like ant hills to make like sculptures. No, but I believe well, you. Well, you do now. That's a thing that actually happens. Yeah. All right. Eradicate. Oh my god. Eighty power. There's no hyper stopping beam. power. Eighty power hyper beam. So a hit for 80 power, and then it's gonna need, like, a turn to fucking... Yeah. That's not good. Oh, that was a mistake. I should've just incinerated again. Alright, well... Didn't, uh... String shot used to like lower evasiveness. No, just speed. Oh, uh, what lowered evasiveness? Uh, sweet scent. It's weird. Vinipede. It's poison, but it's also bug, right? Yes. Okay, so psychic would be neutral. Uh, nah. I'll stick with it. What the fuck? Well, good thing I didn't switch out. Suit. Oh, wow, this guy is tanky fuck. So this thing was a Pokemon that, uh... was apparently had the potential to be very broken in competitive. 
Its, yeah, it's hidden ability is speed boost, the thing that raises its speed every turn. And oh! It, and it had access to baton pass, so it could just kind of, like, sit for a little while, setting up a bunch of defense options, getting faster, and then pass all that to another Pokemon. Jeez, that sounds like it sucked. One of, one of the reasons Baton Pass is banned. Yeah. Oh, you're learning a new move, huh, Kay? Kickdown! 80 power? 90 power normal? A... 90, 90 power. power normal. Uh, uh, has recoil. Well, if you need a big, really big hit, I guess. Probably better in Leer. Honestly, I pro I probably take tackle over that because at least I can. It, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of attack. Well, Arlequin. I would fail in the most beautiful way possible. You die. Ah, but isn't tragedy beautiful, sir? No, living's better. Oh, this- my team Plasma has legendaries. Oh, they're not fucking around. Imagine, your whole thing is stealing Pokémon and you bother to steal actually good Pokémon. Crazy. We're Team X, we're gonna steal Pokémon Y and Team Rocket's like, Get your own shtick, assholes. Oh, that hurt. So you just, like, walked inside and there was a cutscene and that was it? Yeah, they, they ranted about about how they were going to, uh, to do something involving a lot of Pokemon. Oh, they, like, great! And then, like, we Arceus! Got we got That's your other Pokemon, is it? They, they got the power of God on their side. Uh, anime's out of the question, out of the, like, is unclear. They sent out Arceus. It could be one of those shitty Arceuses. Yeah, one of the knockoffs. Well, like, you know how it's a randomizer. It could just be like a. It just hit it, it could go down, like, immediately. Boy, here's hoping. It's like got that energy of like, a, of, like, a guy who's like, I am the most powerful wizard in all of wherever, and then they get kicked in the nuts and they're immediately down. Not moving, even. Have you seen any of the uh, Rooster Teeth 60 Second Dungeon videos? Oh, no, I haven't. I, I gotta send those second... to you, they're good. What's 60 it's exactly what it sounds like. Oh, what? Wait, you're a clown, not a ninja. Well, I, I don't know if I should be fighting these guys. They're obviously actually blessed by God. No, that's fine. Fuck them. They're... You're no god I'd worship! There's this anime that I, uh, that I was made aware of. It's, uh, called Saga of Tanya the Evil. Have you heard of it? No. It's this Japanese businessman, right? And he was like kind of an asshole, and he's also like an atheist. And and so like a person he just fired pushed him, oh, like in front of a train. And then like a, a guy who he refuses to call God pointedly he calls himself him being X instead. It like uh, isekes him into World War One in, in like a fantasy world with like all the technology and stuff. And he's like uh, he's become like a little girl. Or he gets born as a girl, and he, and when he gets to be eight, he's like actually forty-eight, and he becomes like, well, not eight, twelve. I, I don't. It looks like a little girl, so it could be anywhere between eight and fourteen, for all I know. Jack, I gotta say, this sounds like the most anime premise I've ever heard. Uh, yeah, but apparent, but um, t the thing is, is that Tanya, as as she's now known, is um, like 
pretty, uh, pretty ruthless. Yeah. Is there yeah. like in in combat or just like she's mean? Yes. Uh, Dweeble, is that water ground? Uh, bug rock. Oh, fire! Fire is neutral against rock. Fire is not very effective against rock, so it'll be. That's neutral. ground that it's not very effective. No, other way around. Okay. All right then. I mean, you can use it. It'll be if neutral. It's, if it's if it's rock, then Musashi is going to be a, like better fit. So, um, yeah, it, it it's just very disconcerting to, for this, uh, like, uh, like little girl to be committing war crimes. Is all, yeah. Like, this guy does a much better job of explaining, like, it than, oh, it's sturdy. Okay, that was a thing in Rene as well. Is uh, like the the main character is half Shinigami, and I think the mother. Was he, yeah, the mother was human, but uh, she was like aware of like the afterlife stuff, obviously, and she is reincarnated as a little girl, but unlike everyone else, is aware of her reincarnation. Yeah, and so it's like kind of a hey, right, cool, finally evolving. What are you evolving into, buddy? I think if I remember correctly, it evolves into the terrier. Ruff. Yep. Herdier. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Your battle instincts are dull. So... That's a ghetto sound effect. That's like a Genesis sound effect. You know, you gotta make do with what you got. Alright. So if I hit this switch... It will activate the door to the left. Or will a po trainer pop out? Nope. Then a skeleton popped out. We haven't had... Well, I guess Duskull is the closest to a skeleton Pokemon. Yeah. Cubone. Fucking... We haven't had, like, a proper, like, skeletal body skeleton Pokemon. We need a skeletal spider. Yeah. Like a ghost regional variant on like one of the spiders we know. Ghost type Eevee, it's just the skeleton of an Eevee. Did they draw that? Uh, did Rumper Ross draw that during his. Uh... Pokemon I don't think video. anyone drew a skeleton, but several people just do like an Eevee in a grave. That's a uh, that's like that's unimaginative. Yeah, there were a lot of joke drawings in that stream. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, fair enough. It's just like they want to. All right. Hexagons are the best Sagons. We'd have like a uh, Day of the Dead themed Pokemon. Oh, it's a it's a ghost type regional Ludicolo. I, you know what? I'd love to go the the opposite direction as to what people do. I'd like for uh, like a like a region which seems on the outside to be like edgy and like dark and grim dark, but it just it's just another Pokemon game. Yeah. Just like. Like like sugar skulls and uh, and Day of the Dead celebrations instead of like you know, this the apocalypse or anything. 
That could, that could be a type of, uh, that could be an aesthetic. Like, w whimsical Grim. Yeah, Grim Fandango, or, uh, or, like, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, how, a like, light uh, like, hearted approach to the macabre. Yes. My clowns are all poets, by the way. What What is a clown but not a funny poet in physical comedy? It's like poetry. It rhymes. This, uh, this Steelix just karate chopped me in one, in one move. Oh, that's your other brick wall. Sorry about that. Alright, I think I'm fighting the gym leader now. Oh no, he's got muddy water. <laughs> oh no, the demons are coming. It's okay. It wasn't you know what very you could effective. do with You know what you could do with like that? You could have like Pokémon that are literally demonic looking, but still just like Oh man, vampire Pikachu. Dark type Pikachu. I thought we've had enough Pikachus. Okay. I wonder if I should do Lagoon Highlights. That's like the only part of that game that I remember, is the muddy water thing. Yeah. Um... Maybe... that I don't... There wasn't a if whole I, lot there. Honestly, I would... If I had it my way, I would redo playing that game. Because I... What? Oh. Find a way to emulate the real version with, the, like, the running move. What was it on yeah, originally? It, DOS. I think it was like a PC... No, it was a PC... It was a Japanese PC Engine thing. Oh. Oh, look at this. Didn't... Wasn't the PC Engine... That came to the West. It was called the TurboGrafx-16. Okay, yeah. No, it was some other thing. It was like PC-98 or something. It's like the... Uh, the uh, name of like some of the older uh, I Japanese games. I think that was the games. same system. Let me look it up. Lagoon Games. Isn't it full of outrageous, mysterious charms? You've coded honey on the wall and are fighting me with bugs. Top view action adventure video game for the X68000. A home computer created by Sharp Corporation. Oh, it's like it's like uh, an Amiga or a C64. Number 64. Runs an operating system called Human 68K, developed for Sharp by Hudson Soft. Okay. MS DOS work alike. What is a work alike? I, I guess maybe it, can, it works like a fucking MS DOS or something. Do you think anyone has ever. Maybe there's a fan patch. Someone's gone through the trouble of patching the Super NES Lagoon to be more like the original. Oh, I. I don't even know why they changed the combat system in Lagoon. It's in just the first baffling. Place. It is. The th it was the thing that makes the least amount of sense. Like, they couldn't fucking work it. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. I Because they, they changed it from a combat system that would be, you know, while not perfect, different, to, like, one which is literally unworkable. I'm getting Google results for Lagoon X68000 emulator. Oh, cool. We can do Lagoon again. We can play it the way it was meant to be played and see if it's if it's any better. These clowns look much skinnier than they did in the previous generation. Sinnoh yeah, clowns agreed. were kind of chonk. Yeah, these clowns do like acrobats and shit. These are Cirque du Soleil performers. So okay, so so let's say that, that that Pokemon does do like a like a Halloween like uh, game, like a Pokemon. Let's say Pokemon Skull and Pokemon Bones or whatever. Like a whole region. Yeah, a region based off of like a weird like horror aesthetic. Call it. I have, call a, it some... I have a hard time picturing that. It. But let's let's pretend. Like, uh, what would the starters be? Like, uh, 
Well, that would be a chance fire, to... Fire, grass, water. What, the chancy? What were you saying? Uh, that would be a chance... I was going to say that would be a chance to do, like, the, uh, dark psychic fighting thing. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Fighting isn't a particularly, like, spooky type, but you could work with it. Dark could be a vampire, like, Pokemon. Uh, what was the other one? Fa fairy? Psychic. Psychic could be... Like a, uh, like an alien-looking Pokemon. Well, no, we've, we've done that before. Um, and fighting could be like a survivor-themed Pokemon. Right, the professor would be would look like would look would look like a mortician. Like, where's the set? Transylvania. Sure. Some Euro, some like, some like a gothic European country. It could be Germany. That's, that's the German location. Yeah. All right. I need to uh, trigger the last. Uh, come on. And fight the gym leader. And then. Uh, I think I would rather have a have a region that was expanded to include like all sorts of supernatural X Files kind of stuff. That then that, that you're talking about like a fake Pacific Northwest Twin Peaks ish region. That'd yeah, be sure. Cool. But it would all also include like horror stuff. Yeah, like regional the Stephen the Stephen King Pokemon region. Oh god. So there could be a Pokemon that looks like a car. And it'd be, like, trying to destroy people. I don't know if I want to go quite that Stephen King. Christine. Where was I talking about Christine or Maximum Overdrive? Well, this is a fancy platform you got up here. Can you save? No? Okay. I already did. Oh. Pokemon are scurrying with excitement. Let's get straight to it. Cool. He's like a young Berg. Bob Ross. Happy little trees. Except I do want to like, circus dress. I still want to do a regional variant of, of a Pikachu because like, that's never been done before. Just a regional variant of the Pikachu, not the Raichu, the Pikachu. You don't that, fuck like, with the formula. There's a regional variant that's like red and it's a fire type, and it evolves into a fire dark type called Pika Sleuth, like oh. Detective Pikachu. Okay, why? Because Detective Pikachu. It, it's a joke on that. Like. Right. It's a Why Pikachu. fire dark for Detective Pikachu though? Okay, we'll be a, we'll be a detective, like what what psychic? No, we've already done that with P with the Pikachu evolution. I don't really want a Detective Pikachu, but yeah, I don't know. I guess psychic. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Oh, that's a cocoon. All right, I'll just uh, do my thing. Oh my God, you're you're a tough dude. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Alright, fine, yawn. Yeah, we're just missing several bodies of text. I I'm not getting some when I get, like, a new move, either. Oh, no. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't get poisoned. Okay, good. I wonder if, uh... That's not a bad Pokemon. But, well, I guess poison type's not that great yet, because we what? still don't have Yawn! Fairy. Why are you... Oh, my God. I'm dead. And then now you're asleep. Fuck off. Ah. Alright. <laughs> well, I set it up. Let's try it. Wake up! Oh, wow, that did not do shit. I kind of wish more people knew about the movie Paprika. I want to see, like, an artist's rendition of the Pokemon trainer going through these, like, Detective Konakawa through the movie screen. That remember that scene? I remember that scene. That was... That was also where we saw Paprika, and she was dressed like a clown, and she got out of a really small clock car. No. No, that was a no. different. That was the start of the movie. Oh, okay. Levani? Which one is that? I think it's Bug Grass. 
Grass. Or it might just be pure grass. Oh man, fuck, if, if only Goku did- Oh, I gotta revive, actually. You don't have any right. flying, do you? Any what? I get- you're gonna need a flying type, because the HMs are still a thing in this game. Actually, I got, uh, I got a uh, revive. Let's do it! Revive! Wake the fuck up! Crocodile. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh god, it's kicking. Alright, I'm gonna have to use my time to recover. I'm at the guy. So I don't have move types randomized. It's still messing with me because I don't know what type any Pokemon I encounter is, though. Yeah, it's a secret. Alright, Goku. I know I've been mean to you, but I believe you can do it. Man, I should have evolved this guy. Alright, how much damage? What are the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Oh, a crit, that's why. What other fire types are in this gen? Okay, you know what? I don't have... I do not have a good... Mm. There's a lot of Pokemon in this gen, so you can afford to be picky if you're not sure you want to keep something. I got an idea. I just need to get one yawn out. Okay, I can... Please don't be faster. Please don't be faster. Okay. Oh, it's gonna... I'm psychic. Fuck! Okay, there's <sighs> there's not a ton of new fire types in this one. Stop trying to teleport. Can I... is not letting me reset. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna evolve the fucker. I guess this would be the time to do it for the bug gym. Yeah. What flying types have we even encountered so far? Was it just the... the bird? Have we encountered the regional bird? Uh... Unknown? Yeah, it's, uh, Pie Dove. The pigeon. Yeah. Don't want the pigeon. <laughs> it's pretty boring. And it evolves yeah. into a turkey. I want to eat turkeys. I forget, people don't eat Pokemon, right? It kind it varies. They eat slowpoke tails, but... Yeah. Like, they're, like it's a the planet of vegetarians, it seems like. There, we see meat in the context of the Pokemon world. It's just never really discussed what the meat is. What is this meat? I feel like there are things that the Pokemon writers try as hard to avoid as they possibly can. We don't want to think about it, and neither should you. Uh, the, the Takahashi answer. The, vir the Virgin, we, I don't want to think about it, neither should you, versus the chat. Yes, it stretches. <laughs> so for context, Rumiko Takahashi, the author of Ranma One Half, was asked, What happens if Ranma turns into a girl and then gets pregnant, and then turns back? And Takahashi basically did not... That was the answer she gave. I um, don't want to think about that, and neither should you. Neither... It's like, don't tell me what to do, lady. If I want to think about that shit, I certainly damn well. By contrast, Oda, the author of One Piece, is 
totally unabashed about answering questions such as, does Luffy's dick stretch? Yeah. Does Luffy... Not only did he uh, answer it, it was a scene in the show at one point. They were like, they were tugging. Yeah, these are my family jewels. This, much, this weird mushroom's growing on him. Sack mushroom. This mushroom won't come off. Keep pulling, girls. Oh my god, he looks so much cooler. He looks like he he just touched something icky and was looking for a place to wash his hands. Now, how does he evolve further? Or is he that his not. final evolution? There are just two phases. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's see. Let's see what difference in stats. Hello, bug type leader, who will almost certainly have a variety of things that are not bugs. You know, it's kind of weird. There's a bug type gym leader in this gen, and yet. The champion is kind of a bug-type trainer. I say kind of because it's very debatable. Like, he only he only uses, like... I, th I think three of his six team members are bugs. But he also doesn't look like a bug-type trainer. And in, like, later games, he just uses a variety of things. He's not specifically bug at all. Like, in every other case in Pokemon, if someone is a type specialist, it's very, very obvious. But then you get the type, the guy who's like, yeah, what's... Well, I have yeah, a slight preference on. for this type, but I mean, I still gotta be a trainer, I gotta use a variety, you know. Hey, what's going on? I'm, t I'm, I'm bug type. Same. Oh, well, then again, I, I, I think that a person who just... Fashion. Get, get the fuck out of my way, clown. I kind of... If not for the player character, like, having to be allowed the freedom to build their party, I kind of like the idea of it being an unspoken rule in the Pokemon universe that you have to have a type specialty. Well, then again, the, the rival also doesn't have a type specialty. No, they don't. I'm saying, like, so... the reason that's not a game mechanic is because it would it would hinder the player's ability to, like, build whatever team they want. Oh, a Pokemon game where the trainer has stats as well as the Pokemon, and they get bonuses, if, and certain Pokemon get bonuses depending on the background. Oh, you get a bonus if, like, your Pokemon's types match one another? That'd be oh, like a yeah. Pokemon MMO mechanic. Yeah. It's a Pokemon synergy. Alright. I really don't want to have to grind. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a yawn this time. Just, he's using. He's got two hyper potions. Does he? This is only gym leader number three. Hey, you poison fuck! I'm on to your shit. Yawn. Oh, I'm faster. That's it? You just screech? Okay. Oh, you just screeched again? Lame. It just screamed for two turns and then fell asleep. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's that uh, baby Goron from... Uh... from uh, Majora's Mask. Alright, I think I got this, but we could wake up. There we go, got him. Apparently, if you go to Goron Village after clearing the temple, everyone's there and the Elder, like, there's a ceremony where you're you're praised as the hero, Darmani and everything. And they tell you to go, though, the kid went to the racetrack, you should go there. There's oh. a lot of cutscenes I feel like I just never saw in Majora because maybe I followed a guide to go where, where I needed to go or something. Wait, you said this guy was uh, Bug Rock? Yeah. Oh, fighting's neutral then.
Oh, that's that's shit. Oh, and he's kicking sand in my eyes. I'm gonna have to switch out. All right. You win, Uzashi. Get get the fuck out of here. My Ina. It's sand attack. What a dick. All right, raise the shell. Please hit. Thank you. All right, this is gonna be my my uh, greatest challenge yet. So, ow. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pepperdine goes out first. I'm going to yawn. Hopefully, I'll tank the first hit. This guy is apparently the quickest fucking thing in the world. Yawn! Final Pokemon music. Okay, cool. I got I got the yawn off. Oh, you got recover. Alright, let's try Psybeam. Yeah, it didn't work out. Shit. Paprika, your sacrifice won't be forgotten. Alright. So it has Razor Leaf. His Goku can take that. He can take that, like, a couple times. The only reason he did well last time, he did do well last time, was because he got crit. Alright, here we go. Cinerate. Oh! Cool. One more hit should do it. Okay, I think I won. This hyena is just fully equipped to heal off of all of my moves. That went by way smoother than last time. Hey, Rogers is now level 19. I gotta, I gotta throw that EXP there on something else now. This is over. Has my views abandoned me? Damn right it has. Fuck you. I lost. Losing to you doesn't bug me because you are amazingly strong. Well, I got it. The leaf bat. The wing badge. Or whatever. Insect badge. It's insectable. Insector Haga. I. <laughs> remembering when fucking. I, I thought his Japanese name of Insector Haga was actually Inspector Haga. Wow, he's awfully young for that. I am the world's greatest detective. Evil Detective Conan. Yeah. I hear good things about that show, but it's also... Oh, about like, case closed? Yeah, it also apparently gets much darker than you would think a lot of the time. Well, shit, we gotta watch that at some point. Alright, I am going to call it here. And whenever I, you're done, I mean... I, I think I just finished the gym later. Cool. We're on the same pace, finally, because I was spending a lot of time talking about BattleBots. They got a former MMA commentator to, like, do, like, BattleBots commentary. <laughs> or not a former MMA commentary, a former, a former MMA fighter. Yeah? Yeah. He's into it. He's, he, he likes this gig. Now, what, what TM do I get? Whirlpool. That's very buggy. Right. How powerful is it? Maybe it's a really good version of Whirlpool. It's 20. Nope, never Wait. mind. That was, uh... Alright, well, that that's, that's Pokemon. We are three streams in and three gyms in, I think? Yeah. Well, let's give it. Give us another year. We'll we'll get close to finishing it. We got we got to take another like Sonic 06 bite at some point. Yeah, we can get saucy three four. We'll see what the future holds. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.